Tobacco drastically changed the fortunes of the struggling Virginia colony. It also created a class divide that led to a violent revolt called Bacon's Rebellion. By the 1670s, wealthy plantation owners controlled the best land in the colony, forcing poorer farmers and laborers to the colony's perimeter. There, they lived under the constant threat of potentially hostile Native Americans. And so people who moved out to the west part of Virginia felt that they were being essentially put in danger by having to live out near these very, very powerful Indian people. And they also felt that it was unfair that all the, that the large planters who'd been in the colony for a long time were sitting on these huge plantations of which they were only using a portion. Frustrated by their poverty and the lack of single women in the colony, angry that Virginia Governor William Berkeley and the House of Burgesses refused to protect them from Indian raids, the restless farmers took matters into their own hands. In 1676, a group of poor farmers led by 29-year-old Nathaniel Bacon massacred local Indians, and then marched to Jamestown, ousted Governor Berkeley, and burned the capital to the ground. Bacon was able to organize people through their resentment. All of these people who had been promised land, had earned the right to have land, and were now out in the West where they felt unsafe and they felt victimized by the government's decisions. The colony dissolved into anarchy, but Berkeley was able to regain power when Bacon suddenly died from dysentery. Well, Bacon died shortly after they took Jamestown, so the rebellion fizzled out. Determined to teach his subjects a lesson, the governor hanged more than 20 of the rebels. Bacon's rebellion exemplified the class resentments that grew alongside the tobacco in the South's plantation economy. It also changed the face of Chesapeake's workforce. Eager to prevent future uprisings, wealthy planters turned their eyes and their ships toward Africa. <laughs>